famous Idaho Potato Bowl, same time as JMU Air Force, between Georgia State and Utah State. Utah State, two and a half point favorite here. Total sitting at 61 and a half. This, oh, by the way, the there, you, this is a game we'll be playing in Boise, Idaho, which is, I, I would assume, is a advantage for Utah State. They are, you know, Mountain West team used to the cold a lot more than Georgia State because you could get we could get snow here it'll be definitely be cold I think but the location and weather definitely favors Utah State this is a matchup of two six and six teams Georgia State also much more impactful transfer portal names there's stud starting running back Marcus Carroll portal huge loss he committed to Missouri his backup Casey Adams portal their top receiver Robert Lewis portal committed to Auburn those are big losses also there's stud starting right tackle Montavious Cunningham portal committed to Vot Tech so all of them will be out they're starting cornerback Brown also committed to Boston College so you know and then Utah State they they're starting safety Devin Dye is pretty good he's in the portal other than that uh, you know one of their starting cornerbacks didn't play in the finale Dickerson and it looks like they'll turn but they don't have much news other than that it looks like they'll turn to Levi Williams in as the starter at quarterback because Cooper Lagasse and McKay Hillstead are both still hurt. For what it's worth, Levi Williams will forgo his last year of eligibility and he's going to try to join the Navy SEALs, which is pretty cool. Famous Idaho potato bowl. I remember I drove through Idaho this summer, or as I was in Yellowstone going down to Jackson Hole, I and mean, we drove through Idaho and there was the big potato seed. Uh, uh, silos you're driven through idaho um, yeah my, my sons and i have rafted up there there's like these I, there was the i forget what town i drove through um but it was like the potato seed capital of the world but there's just huge silos of potato seeds um anyway random thought of the day when i look at this game both teams want to run it georgia state not that efficient but very explosive but now you're down your two backs and your best offensive lineman that's going to hurt because this Utah State run day is horrendous. And like I said, they're also down their top wide receiver. So can they exploit the Utah State run day still is the major question. It's Granger and who else? The Georgia runs, Georgia State run day has been good, but the secondary is horrendous and without their best cornerback. I think all the intangibles here favor Utah State. And for what it's worth, Levi Williams will get the start. He was the Potato Bowl MVP in 2021 with Wyoming. It's a Wyoming transfer. Hopefully that works out a little better for him than it did Davis Brin, who was making his return to a bowl as a former MVP with another team. What do you see here in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl? We have to ask the all-important question, why does Spuddy Buddy wear gloves? How did he get those on? Why does he need them? Um, listen, I think you laid it out perfectly about why we're going to bet Utah State, whether it's Levi Williams, Cooper Lagasse, or McKay Hillstead. Um, you know, all of them are going to, they all have a chance to impress Blake Anderson before the Spencer P Petrus era begins in Logan. Uh, are you ready for that? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the, listen, the pass explosiveness is the best weapon for Utah state here. Um, you know, they severely struggle in quality drives and finishing drives. The only way they make it down and get into scoring position is big pass explosives. Georgia state shows cover one and quarters a lot, but they have a coverage grade of 129th. And this season, I talked a lot about on target allowed. On target is, do you let your wide receivers get the ball in stride and run down the field? Yeah, well, Georgia State's defense is 125th in on target allowed. And now they're using, losing Brekis Brown that you mentioned, three PBUs on the season. He was targeted 49 times at cornerback. So it's a, it's a really big loss of an experience category for them. You look at the wide receiver core. Micah Davis, Jalen Royals, they're both over two yards per route run. That means they're explosive. Terrell Vaughn, 455 snaps from the slot. He only had two drops on 114 targets, 34 first downs. He is a chain-moving machine out of the slot. There's just too many weapons here on this Utah State offense, no matter who the quarterback is. And you've already mentioned on the other side of the ball. Let me ask you a question, Stuck. Where did Marcus Carroll go in the transfer portal? Missouri. Yeah, drink is cooking, and we'll talk about that next year. But uh, 
Marcus Carroll was this entire offense. I mean, they Georgia State relied on rush explosives more than anything else in their advanced stats. Ninth in the nation, rush EPA. Who's up? KZ Adams. 36 rushing attempts. He's in the portal now, too, though. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter that he only had 1.4 yards after contact. He was <laughs> only created four missed tackles. They have nobody. There's no yeah, he might still play, but he's in the portal too. So like they could be down to third and fourth string guys. If he plays, I don't not sure if it helps. Uh <laughs> now, you know, as I say all this, it's like it's not like Utah State is squeaky clean, you know, get this win here. I mean, there's still some troubled waters here. 117th in defensive finishing drives for Utah State. They're 132nd in the nation in penalties. Utah State can take themselves out of this game. When you bet them, you're <laughs> essentially playing a game of poker. Uh, and the casino, the casino is raking on that pot all the time. Maybe a live bet here, Georgia State and, and head coach Sean Elliott, they finished dead last in the middle eight. Now, I do have money down on Utah State, but Sean Elliott being dead last in the middle eight, I mean, when you see stats like that, I mean, you have to take advantage of guys that do not know how to work the clock before and after half. So, um, you know, I, I'm going to take Utah State based on the explosives. The team does way too much to hurt itself from penalties and red zone efficiency. So I think Georgia State is something, if it steams to three and a half, four, I'd be inclined. I don't know with the, how the Sun Belt's doing if I want to get behind that. But Utah State by no means should be over three. But it is a play under three. Yeah, uh, I agree. I'll be on Utah State in some form or fashion. Yeah, you also got to keep in mind, like, all the intangibles. Like, the Georgia State more impactful transfer. You, the way Utah State got to a bowl, I think that they'll be motivated here. Pretty exciting. I think they got there with, with an overtime win. and. You know, Logan's just 300 miles from Boise. They are more comfortable in the elements. And, you know, what, Georgia, Atlanta's, what, 2,500 miles away? This will feel like a home game let, to Utah State. You could get snow and... Um, let me ask snow. you a question. And don't don't look it up. How many of the six wins that Utah State has, how many of them are bowl teams? Utah State. So they beat... New Mexico to get to bowl eligibility. Um, I know they beat San Diego State in overtime. Mm -hmm. um, they beat. They should have lost to UConn. I remember this. I had the I had their fucking win total under. And they <laughs> they we stole all these games. They beat New Mexico in overtime. San Diego State in overtime. They had a miraculous win over UConn by one. Um, so that's three. Uh, they beat some clown FCS school. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, probably you're Colorado right. State. Yeah, you're almost there. And I know the, the answer is zero, but uh, yeah. Nevada? Yeah, the answer is zero. I, I, I think it's Nevada. Uh, but yeah, the answer is zero. Utah State didn't beat anybody that's going to a bowl game. So I mean, Georgia State did beat ULL and Texas State. Teams changed. Well, that's because every team in the Sun Belt went to a bowl. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I thought it'd be interesting to note. I'm gonna back a team with my own money that didn't beat a single bowl team all year. So. 